Hello, Internet, and welcome to the Buffalo Bulletin, where we recap five major stories from our site, technobuffalo.com, every Tuesday and Friday. If you're interested in reading more about any story I mention on the show, check the description for links or click the graphics for each story if you have annotations available and toggled on. I'm Ashley Scava. Here are your top stories. First up this week, Motorola in the news after introducing Migrate, offering ex-iPhone users an easy way to transfer their iCloud data to a shiny new Moto X. During setup of your Moto X, you'll now have an option for I have an iPhone, which will prompt you for your iCloud credentials. Logging in starts the transfer, which ports your contact and calendar data to your Google account. Pretty nifty if you've been considering leaving Apple's ecosystem for Google's. I wonder if they'll roll this out in KitKat across all Android devices. Microsoft officially released Windows 8.1 today, finally giving users the option they've been asking for since Windows 8's initial launch, the ability to skip the live tiles and boot directly to the desktop. Other updates include Bing Smart Search, up to four simultaneous apps running, a new Movie Moments video editing application, goodbye Movie Maker, and pre-installed Skype and SkyDrive apps. It's free for existing Windows 8 customers and 119 bucks to upgrade from previous versions of Windows. In gaming, anyone with a Wii U is probably eagerly awaiting a new Legend of Zelda, but unfortunately, it looks like we'll be waiting a little longer to hear any news at all. Zelda series producer A.G. Aonuma says he won't be ready to talk about the next installment of the franchise until E3 of next year, so eight months from now. Still no word on art style, timeline, control schemes, or pretty much anything else about the game, so I guess we'll just have to wait and speculate. Folks hoping to get an official Final Fantasy VII on their phone or tablet will probably also be waiting a while, as Final Fantasy producer Takashi Tokita says, quote, phones won't be able to contain the space it takes. It's over a gigabyte. People are probably going to have to wait a few years, unquote. Um, hello, I have Infinity Blade 3 on my iPad. It's almost one and a half gigs. So, sir, where is my chocobo racing and where is my materia mastering? Where? For our wildcard story this week, Android 4.4 KitKat is right around the corner, and we've assembled a list of five features that are on our wish list. What's on the list? True SMS backup and payment systems, as well as easier NFC sharing and voice commands all made the cut. We have a feeling we'll see some of our dreams come true when they announce and make KitKat official, but I'm actually curious as to what you're hoping to see when KitKat drops in the coming weeks. Well, that's the Buffalo Bulletin for today. If you enjoyed the show, a thumbs up would be super awesome of you. And if you want more great Techno Buffalo video content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking this giant subscribe button. See you guys next time.